Today we're exploring Olympic National Park. I had to stop here while I was in Washington. Unfortunately, I don't have nearly enough time. The park takes up a massive part of the peninsula and has everything from rainforest to mountains to coastline. Today we're gonna see as much as possible and hopefully take some time to soak in one or two things really well. There's zero chance that I'm gonna get enough of this national park in in one day, but it's the time I have and I'm ready to go enjoy it. It's officially happened. I expected that during my trip across the country, we would start wearing masks again. And I went to go in the visitor center and they had a sign up that said, regardless of vaccination, you have to wear a mask. Never seen a stump displayed like this. Uh, tree begins its life. Indians. Columbus. The Mayflower. Okay, I've been here for approximately 10 minutes and I already like it. I found a shaded spot, it's cool, it's absolutely beautiful. Not to mention, I already had amazing views on the drive here. But I did go to the visitor center, I got my stamp and my map. I also asked the ranger what to do if I had one day, which is already disappointing. He recommended driving up to Hurricane Ridge doing that hike. It's about a 45 minute drive, which doesn't seem bad. <laughs> On the drive here, I did look across and see Canada one time already today, because that's exactly how far north we are. Time to get started. overview here is for the Olympic mountains and right over here you can see in the distance is Mount Olympus. We are headed over to Hurricane Ridge to do that hike and check out that view. They also have information on all of the glaciers melting. You can kind of see in the ridges of the mountains where the glaciers were. They're still back there but smaller every year. The Hurricane Ridge trail that's here at the visitor center is steep but it's paved the whole way. It just so happens that I'm parked at the other end of it. So we're gonna explore that. On this trail, we should be able to see the Olympic Mountains, the Cascade Mountains, and Canada. After that, since we're already geared up, I'm gonna drive the mile and a half to Hurricane Hill Trailhead and take that. I don't know what to expect there. So we'll see how that goes. But this short little paved trail is perfect warm up for the day. I wondered what it, those bugs looked like that make that noise. It's just a grasshopper. Who knew? You can just barely see the Cascade Mountains in the distance. If they weren't snow covered at the top, you'd never know. You can also see Mount Olympus in the background. And I have to say, <laughs> I understand that this is where Mount Olympus would be. But there's something about going to all the parks, not being able to do a ton of research for each of them, that that got to be a surprise for me today. 
Also, probably one of the highlights. It's back like on the second level, but you can still see just the top of it over there. How cool. This unpaved part is the green part on the map. It is official trail, but they do let you know that it is steep and unfinished. You see the road we came up on, you see down right into the valley and the snow caps we came up on. Crazy. I don't know if there's a better bench in the entire state of Washington. I can see the Cascade Mountains, Mount Olympus, and I'm looking right down this valley of just the greenest evergreen trees. Wow. This is it. It's just Thursday afternoon. <laughs> We've made it up to Hurricane Hill. I don't plan to do the whole hike. I talked to the ranger and asked if it'd be worth it to do some, and she said, absolutely. So, so we're gonna do some of the hike, but we're not going all the way to the top. She said she wouldn't recommend it either, being that it's the exact middle of the day. So we're gonna enjoy the beginning of it, get some amazing views of the Olympic Mountains from the top, which I think from here as well, you can see Vancouver Island. chipmunk. The view is really great. It's amazing. That was a good workout, but I think that's the end of the trail for me. I'm gonna sit on this bench, get a drink of water, and then enjoy the view of the Olympic Mountains on the way down. Whew. It is absolutely gorgeous walking down. It seems like the more you look at the mountains, the more peaks there are. Well, that ended up being an eventful hike back. I was just walking along and there were flies, which is not enjoyable. And then all of a sudden there were two bees that just swarmed right around me and I've never had that happen before. I just was listening to a story about hikers who walked through a nest and got stung like eight times. And that's all I could think of. My body reacted accordingly. I thought I was staying calm, but my legs immediately got goosebumps. I had chills on my arms and I was trying to walk faster than the bees, but there was a, another girl in front of me and I didn't want to put the bees on her. So I told her that what was happening and then all of a sudden it started swarming around both of us. We pretty much speed walked for an entire half mile and tried to swat them with our hats. Nothing worked at all. But luckily I'm back in the van. It's very warm. Definitely earned a little snack for the drive down. There are a few views that I cannot wait to check out. This was the main place I wanted to stop at on my drive down. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure you can see Puget Sound from here. Let's go look.
my last stop here at the National Park is at Crescent Lake for obvious reasons. There's a small swimming pool just around that bend that's called Devil's Punch Bowl. It is absolutely gorgeous. My original plan was to hike over there and see it, but now that the sun is too low, it won't be its beautiful blue color. If you're here, I would recommend making that a stop. Instead, I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful view and then head out. Hopefully you enjoyed Olympic National Park. There is no time that would have been enough to really sink my teeth into this national park and enjoy it. Mostly I'm disappointed that I didn't make it over to the rainforest section. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous, but I'll see it next time. I'm gonna take a few days to enjoy Seattle and then head down the Oregon coast. I'll leave you with a few views of this. Place market because it's the place to be here in Seattle.